from the Penn Libraries. What, what I've seen is that these partnerships between libraries have, there's, they can bring so much to the larger partnerships between the universities, and they're viewed very positively by leadership at both institutions. And I think um, it's, it's, it's incredibly gratifying to see the profile of our library colleagues at these other institutions you know, to help ra raise their profile at their home institutions because often we know that librarians aren't always viewed as being partners with a institution's academic research and clinical enterprises. And we've been able to help show that they can and in turn, it raises our profile here at our home institution, and it's enabled us to form partnerships and collaborate with faculty here in ways, if we hadn't had those global, it's interesting that you have to go global to kind of bring it local sometimes, but it's, it's really been effective, and I think some of our strongest partnerships that we have, for instance, in the biomedical library, the basis for those have been some of these global partnerships. I just would encourage uh, all of my library colleagues to get involved. And I think there's so many opportunities and it's just fine. In some cases, it's meeting the right people and, and forming relationships with them, which that's where I've had success and I think that, that's where other people can have success too. And I think the other kind of lesson is build on what already exists. And Penn has, you know, global partnerships and initiatives and research and global placements for students all around the world. And I think build on those. I think you'd have less success if you go out and try to do some library to library partnership with in an institution that doesn't have an existing relationship in some way. So go with what you know and what exists.